infrastructure investment has become a high-profile topic in recent years, driven by several major trends. Significant losses in 2008 have pushed institutional investors to diversify their portfolios into private, illiquid assets like infrastructure. Insurers and pension plans around the world increasingly seek long-term assets with a well-defined duration. And policymakers want to match the supply of long-term savings with long-term capital projects to create jobs and support growth. But there is a problem. Until now, there has been no reliable information to help investors decide how much to invest in infrastructure or to measure performance. For the same reason, regulators are questioning the riskiness of these investments. Politicians are growing increasingly frustrated with the lack of progress. Having reliable investment benchmarks would go a long way to putting infrastructure investment on an equal footing with other asset classes. We need risk-adjusted performance measures. We need to test the liability hedging characteristics of infrastructure investments. And we need to quantify extreme risks to calibrate prudential frameworks. But existing financial knowledge is insufficient to create these measures. Current public market proxies are ineffective. Studies using private data are limited and incomplete, and reported data is mostly inadequate. The Eric Infrastructure Institute is a pragmatic solution to this problem. Based on the Eric Business School campus in Singapore, Eric Infra has charted a clear roadmap to address the issues that are important to infrastructure investors. The first step on our roadmap is to clearly define infrastructure investments as financial instruments. The second step is to develop asset pricing and risk models that can take into account the specifics of infrastructure assets, such as the large embedded options found in project finance debt. The third step is to determine which data needs to be reported to apply this technology, data that already exists and can be standardized. The fourth step is to collect the data, and thanks to numerous infrastructure investors and creditors, Eric Infra has already built one of the largest databases of infrastructure project cash flows in the world, and we will continue to collect more of this information in the years to come. The fifth and final step is to design the portfolios to be used as benchmarks for asset allocation, performance attribution, and risk calibration in infrastructure investment. Eric Infra will publish these benchmarks every year covering different types of infrastructure, equity and debt investments globally. Since 2012, EDEC has benefited from the precious support of key private sector sponsors who've had the vision, early on, to support this effort. In 2016, EDEC Business School established EDEC Infra with the backing of the Monetary Authority of Singapore. Numerous other organisations have now joined this effort to pool their infrastructure data, to build investment knowledge grounded in academically rigorous methods. Together with these collaborators, EDEC Infra will answer the questions that matter to make infrastructure investment realize its full potential for investors, regulators, and policymakers.